Here at the Green Turtle Classic, powered by SFMSports.net, York with a 13-8 win over Nazareth, now joined by York coach Brandon Childs. Coach, this was a 7-7 game in the third quarter. It seemed like what really changed most drastically was the face-off department. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, early on, we got a couple violations in the first half, which uh, slows any face-off guy up because you know we can't go man down against Nazareth. It's all over the scouting report. We went man down one time and they scored on it. Yeah. Um, and so we, we, we didn't want to go man down, so that, that slows us down with the face-off X. Once the second half rolled around and it was clean slate, yep. we were able to go after those face-offs. And it wasn't, it wasn't just the great work at the X, but the wings came in and, no and, and were outstanding for us today. No question about that. Uh, a game where your defense seemed to play really well. The guy that really jumped out at me was Tolbert. That just seemed to be giving fits. They got a couple of really high-powered senior attackmen on the other side of the field, and you guys, I know that one of them came away with six points on the day, but for the most part, you prevented them from taking the game over. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt about it. Those, those two kids that you're alluding to, 6 and 28 for them are so good, um, and they're seniors, and they work so well together. Um, and, and I think that we did a pretty good job neutralizing him as, as to what you're speaking about with Taylor Tolbert. He's real tough and, and strong kid and with yeah. a short stick um, to be able to bump guys off their line is huge. And he's just a really hard worker for us and does a lot of the, you know, a lot of the dirty work. So it's great that you were able to notice what he was able to do. 7-0, and best start in school history, huge win over an undefeated number nine team in the country. I mean, I don't know how much more you could ask for from your group at this point. Uh, we're going to ask him to win tomorrow. Well, yeah, that would be, okay, <laughs> fair, sure. Yeah. But, I mean, seriously, just reflect on the 7-0 and start and, and how it has all come together for your team. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm really proud of our group because we play a lot of young guys. Um, and I think one thing that we've, we did a good job of is, is being able to play fast today but poised at the same time. So we got some quick hitters on them um, at times, but then we had some long possessions where we grinded it out and ended in a goal. So to be able to play fast at times but also be able to be disciplined with the ball and the decision-making with such a young group is what I'm most proud about, not really our record. You know, It's, yeah. it's more what we're doing. Um, but, but the reality is, um, with a young group, our whole MO the whole time has just been to be one game at a time and not really to be concentrating on anything in March and just try to be our best in May. And so it's on to tomorrow. How do you get them ready to turn around and face Lynchburg so quickly? Yeah, well, we have a plan in place. I don't know if it'll work, but we've got a plan <laughs> in place in terms of um, recovery time and some of those things. And we're going to go back to campus and, 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 and get to work right away here. Um, we have the luxury of being not too far not away, too far, which, yep. which helps us out here a little bit. Um, so we'll try to get our guys ready. Um, and then we'll stick around here and do some work on Lynchburg and uh, they're a great team and they're super athletic and um, you know it'll, it'll definitely be a, another great one tomorrow. And just last thoughts being part of this atmosphere and this event the Green Turtle Classic what an incredible event it is with so many great teams just what was your your taste of it like today? Yeah it's it's an awesome experience I want to thank the people at Stevenson and Coach Canabean for uh, for putting it on and then having us to be a part of it. Um, it it's it's awesome for us to be involved in it. I, I I really enjoy it. I, I think that the, the, the thing about it is every coach and every player needs to be a little crazy to play two and back to sure. back. And it kind of you know, makes me respect all the different programs that come down here. And I guess on a personal note, as we were taking the field and Dennison was coming off, they were kind of hooting and hollering and cheering for us. And then our guys just did the same thing with RIT. <laughs> um, so it was really neat to see some of like the lacrosse community in general is close knit and real supportive of one another. And it happened between the games and it was totally unscripted, That's which cool. I thought was great. That's really cool. Coach, congratulations again yeah, on a Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it.